If you think slavery is only in the history books, well, guess what? It's back. And just like in the past, the West has blood on its hands. A slave market has grown in Libya, with African migrants for sale to the highest bidder. Criminals are at fault, but so are Western governments. See, for years now, people from Mali, Niger, Nigeria, and other West African countries have been traveling through Libya to Europe in search of a better life. In 2017, about 150,000 people made the journey. Since Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi fell in 2011, with a push from the US and its NATO allies, Libya has been a failed state. The government is weak. There's barely a formal economy, and rival militias are holding onto multiple centers of power. It's an ideal place for smugglers to set up shop, trafficking people for the price of their life savings. And now a shocking CNN report has shown that many of these migrants are getting stuck in Libya and are being sold into slavery. Journalist Nima El Bagir went undercover to a purported slave auction where men were called merchandise and were sold for as little as $400. Listen to this young Nigerian man named Victory describing being enslaved before ending up in a detention center. On my way coming, I was sold. From a week, they will start beating so that your money will come quickly. It's very painful. It's very painful. The response from the West has been swift. Celebrities have tweeted their outrage. Protesters have chanted outside of Libyan embassies. And UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has condemned possible crimes against humanity. But here's the thing. The West hands are not cleaning this mess at all. After a brief moment of refugees welcome, Europe has slammed its gates closed to migrants. It's helping Libya intercept people in the Mediterranean and sending them back to Libya. There, they wait in detention centers just to be deported. But Libya's detention centers are overwhelmed. The International Organization for Migration estimates that up to one million migrants may be trapped and are vulnerable to exploitation and abuse. How has Libya responded? Officials have promised an investigation, but a Libyan TV network took a page out of President Trump's playbook and called the CNN report fake news. Yes, Libya has serious issues, but if the West wants to be considered a beacon of freedom, it needs to look at how its policies are crushing freedom elsewhere. It needs to consider the human cost of toppling dictators without any sort of plan to deal with the vacuum that's left behind. It needs to think of more legal and humane avenues for migration to Europe instead of incentivizing smuggling. So while protests rage on at Libya's embassies, maybe spare some anger for the embassies of Europe and the US.